fine. Now then, here we are, me and the mutt on a bitterly cold day here in the Lake District. It's currently just below freezing and as you can see in the background there, there is plenty of snow around up on the higher fells and there's going to be a 25 to 30 mile an hour wind overnight which is going to bring a wind chill of minus 14. So luckily we are prepared for it, I've got everything to keep us safe and sound for the evening. The shelter I'm using is the Fjell Raven Abisko Light 1 tent and that has done me proud as you've seen in many of my videos and kept me safe and sound in some pretty horrendous conditions. So luckily and finally Fjell Raven have acknowledged my work for them and they have given me the clothing for today which is the Keb jacket and also a set of the Keb trousers. And these trousers are my, by far my favourite trekking trouser. So looking forward to sort of testing these out up on the mountains. I've also got a couple of other items which I got for Christmas, including a set of trekking poles and a sleeping mat being the Thermarest x Lite. So I'm looking forward to testing those out as well. So from here, are you ready Blue? We are going to continue up onto the top of Hart Crag and find somewhere to pitch a tent. Go on then, get on. <laughs> Looking cool, eh? Right, let's batch on up there. Wow, look at that. This is what I'm here for, to get out and just appreciate the beauty of this place. And I have had two weeks literally laid on a sofa. It has honestly killed me. I got COVID just after New Year and it just knocked me out, completely knocked me out. And I have just not moved. And this is the first time I've been out since properly. And I've got to say, it's hard. It's a lot harder than normal. Having these poles is definitely helping just to sort of keep the momentum going. But um, yeah, just exhausted very easily. Little things that I'd normally just skip up, <laughs> I'm actually finding quite hard. So oh. anyway, let's look where I am. It is worth the slog, but the sun is going down. As you can see, just over there, it's just starting to get a little bit darker. And because it's breezy, I don't want to be messing about too much, so I am going to... Whoa, slippy. I'm going to find myself somewhere, hopefully a little bit sheltered, just to pitch this tent. Well, I'm about done. I'm currently looking at Dove Crag, which is that one, and this is Heart Crag. And a bit further around is Fairfield. And I'm 
just sort of sat in this little dip, just sort of behind this little raised section, which is just giving a little bit of shelter from the wind, because this wind is really <laughs> relentless, it's non-stop, and I just want a nice peaceful night, so I am gonna pitch my tent somewhere here on this uh, grassy area, I'll flatten some of the snow down and yeah, just get us out of the wind and into the safe tent. I mean, it's not a bad view though, look at that, all the way around, just stunning for morning. And uh, we've got the priest hole just up there, so you never know, there might be somebody in there tonight, down, looking on me. Yeah, this will do the trick. Right, let's get on with it then. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you Tell you what, it's a cold one. The tent is up beautifully though, I'm quite happy with that. It's just pitched nicely, set behind this sort of mound, so it just allows the wind to sort of blow over the top of it a bit better. The views are just fantastic all the way around. So very happy. And if you can see, we've got this sort of orange glow that's just sort of like pressing down on all these mountains here, making it look quite spectacular. <laughs> Anyway, let's get inside this tent. I'll show you inside here. In I go. Stay there, Blue. You stay there. <laughs> Good lad. Oh. Yeah, so I'll set the doorway here, which is just sort of in the leeward side, so at least uh, I've got a bit of protection so I can do a bit of cooking and let everything sort of go out of the door that way. <laughs> the dog's just rolling around out there but it's just in case setting the mat up getting that in here i'll probably get the dog to sleep next to me because the mat i've got is just a regular size and normally i use a, a large or an extra large whatever they are so they're a bit wider and uh, when that's the case i put the dog in the porch area but uh, with this one being slightly slimmer hopefully it'll fit in this little triangle section here and then we can be warm together all cozy Anyway, let's get these bags in. Oh. While I've got a minute, I'll show you these clothes that have been given by Fjell Raven. This is the Keb trouser and Keb jacket, and I have worn these many a time in many other videos. Uh, these are identical to the red ones that I've got, and also the green pair. Um, I absolutely love them. They are my favourite trouser by far, and it's just because they've got a good combination of everything, really. They're flexible because all these light blue panels here are a flexible material, so obviously you've got a lot of movement with that do some tie boxing again and uh, then we've got the G1000 fabric on the rest of it which is like a harder wearing fabric which is also waxable so you can make it a bit more waterproof just to take a bit more uh, weather if needed especially on the bum section because if you sat down quite a lot it just stops your bum from getting wet so it's quite worth waxing it for that reason but yeah I absolutely love these they are comfortable great to wear on a mountain windproof this jacket is brilliant. It's got a very big hood, which just totally covers you in there. So if the weather does turn, it will just uh, give you this sort of fluted section, which just keeps you out of the wind and the snow as well. 
The material itself isn't waterproof. It's not a waterproof jacket. They're not waterproof trousers, but they will keep the wind off. And that is a big part of it being out on the mountains. So I'll always carry a waterproof jacket anyway and trousers to put over the top if necessary. They're not an insulated trouser, so they are not ideal for deep winter conditions, but you could quite easily put a pair of leggings underneath, um, as with the layering system underneath your jacket. But I just love it. I mean, the fact that this is stretchy as well, it just gives you all that freedom of movement and just a, a great one to get out and about with. We've got a couple of pockets on the front here, which if I just show you, fit a map in. So it's actually brilliant just for being out on the mountain because you can just pop that in and out very easily and it's just to hand. Um, there's two open vent sides here, if you can see, which just zip up and down. And the good thing about that is they just go to the inside of the jacket. There's no pocket there. But if you've got a jacket underneath with a pocket in, then you can access that and use it as your main pocket anyway, just to keep your hands warm if necessary. Um, but it just allows a bit of airflow. The good thing about it is as well, we've got a double-sided zip. Let's take these off. Um, so it will actually zip up from the bottom. So if you need to vent, you can just un undo it that way. And as you can see, you can open it from the top as well. Couple of little uh, clips there just to sort of hold it all together but if i zip this up now you can see it's nice and high here it just keeps you sheltered from the wind and obviously with the hood up as well that just means you are completely out of that in your own little world which just really does help yeah the trousers themselves these are pretty straightforward the pockets on the front here which are just great just to pop bits in i've got my let's have a look pair of sunglasses in there at the minute what else is in there oh a battery for my gopro and in this side i've got my car key and a couple of other batteries two pockets at the front here as well which are part of the sort of stretcher material so you can fit plenty in them if you need and uh, that's about it we've just got a panel on the back here as i say that you can wax if you needed and we've also got zips at the bottom just to vent and at the top as well so it just allows just to get a bit of airflow in if you need, especially when you're walking up and down mountains all the time, because as you're going up, you get hot and you need to vent. And then when you're going down, you need to zip up again. So overall, I absolutely love them. So definitely worth checking out. <laughs> so worth checking out. I'll leave a link in the description to these. Uh, they come in all sorts of different colours. I've got them in red, as I say, and they look awesome. The blue ones look awesome on a mountain, but you can't beat the plain old black. I mean, this is just a great jacket colour because you can wear it anytime, any place, and it's just one of the jackets that um, I'll be wearing out and about as my general attire as well as up on a mountain. So anyway, there we go. The Keb from Fjallraven. Fantastic gear. Let's go. Bayek, it is a cold one. I've got me sort of down bottoms and down jacket to uh, put on, which will sort me out very shortly. But first of all, I need to get off the ground properly. I'm currently sat on the dog's mat, part of his sleep system, which is an ex sort of army mat, which I've just cut just to sort of suit his size. I use it as a, a kneeling mat to get in and out of the tent and also just as a way of getting off the floor while I'm messing about. But I've got a new Christmas present. Look at this. We have a Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. And the reason that I've got this is, is because it's a size regular. Now, most of my sort of uh, ones are either a regular wide or they are a, a large, which uh, just means that they're a wide fit. And the problem with those is that they fit in all the tents and everything usually, but they don't go in a bivy bag. So I need something for winter that I can stick inside a bivy bag and sleep out in conditions like this. So this should do the trick. It's got an R value, I think, 
the 4.2 I'll put it there <laughs> but um, it is enough for uh, winter in the UK for most of most nights out I would say so anyway we will test it out tonight and see what it's like first of all let's get it pumped up I'm gonna have to do this outside with this pump sack it's a lot easier when you've got the wind blowing into your pump sack Just like that, it is done. It doesn't take a second at all when you've got a decent wind blowing into your pump sack. And the size of this is slightly smaller than my other, so it takes less time. So let's get this in the tent. Hopefully not let it blow away, because as you can see, it is pretty breezy. Well, we've just been chilling out for the last couple of hours. The wind sort of died down a little, it still just comes through with a bit of a blast every so often. But we are nice and warm, Lou's uh, wrapped up in the foil blanket and I've put my jacket over the top of him as well so he's just nice and warm in there. Yeah there's plenty of heat in there, it's nice. And I've got my uh, Hunker bivy bag over the top of my sleeping bag just to give it a bit of protection from the dog. And now it is time really to cook some dinner. Hey Blue, are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> you can see he grabs my arm and uh, gives it a hug. Right, let's see what we've got for dinner in the magic bag. So first of all, we have a chicken curry and potatoes. So that is a ration pack, which is <laughs> slightly out of date. I won't say what, but I'll eat it anyway. And just to go with that, I've got some Bombay potatoes just to um, add in. Um, obviously both curry, so just shove them in a pot and that should be quite a nice one together. And there's plenty of energy in that just to keep me going for the evening. So how are we going to do this? It's always a little awkward when you're in a smaller tent because obviously there's less space to sort of manoeuvre and you are slightly hunched over. But nonetheless, we are going to get some food down us. I just have to say though, it has been hard getting me to this point here today. I've really struggled. I was hit with Covid just um, at the new year and it's the first time I've had it and it really did knock me for six. I had two or three days where I was proper feverish and struggled with that. And then from that point, I sort of felt okay in the head, just a little bit sort of spaced out. I, I sort of mentioned to a few people that I sort of feel that I'm like a second behind on time, which is a bit of a weird thing. Um, and just no energy, none whatsoever. So I've, I've literally laid on my sofa and done nothing for the last sort of two weeks. So to get me out of the door was tricky. It really was. I just was trying everything to sort of push myself to get myself out and I just had to break it down into smaller portions really so rather than just sort of thinking like oh I've got to get all this stuff done and then being a bit overwhelmed by it all I broke it down into like right I need to pack my bag so I've packed some gear I need to sort my clothes out sorted that out sort my food um, you know just even on the morning just thinking right I need to get up I need to have a shower then I need to get myself dressed and um, have my breakfast and just do all the little sort of stages just to get me to that point where I'm actually picking my bag up, taking out the door, putting in the car and setting off. And do you know what? As soon as you're over that threshold of the door, that is it. You are out and happy. And I've not looked back since. And obviously I need this. I need to get out um, just for my own sort of uh, mental health. You know, it's just something that I absolutely love doing, getting out, exercising, whether it's running, cycling, walking in the mountains you know doing the wild camping thing it is all just so good for my soul and it is my sort of thinking time and i just really really enjoy it so to not have that for the last few weeks it's been tough it really has anyway we have made it here and very happy to be here you know out there it's cold plenty of snow but it's just exactly what i need it really is hey bluey we both need it so it is time now then to get these in a pan and sort our food out. 
What do you say, Blue, eh? Yeah? Hungry? <laughs> Come on then, let's do it. Right, I've tipped all my curry into that pot. And now I just need to get this lit. I've only just filled my canister up here. So there is a good chance that it may flare up if I've not got it quite right. So a little bit of gas out. Uh, we're right straight away. Nice. Right, let's get this on. There we have it. A curry on a mountain. Right, it's warm. <laughs> Just what I need. Let's have a quick test. Oh, that's really good. All right, that'll do it. Well, I'm going to keep my hands warm, eat my curry, and then I'll think about making a cup of tea after that. I think I need a tea tonight. Well, I'm going to hit you with one now. I'm going to put myself out there and say that was the nicest packeted meal that I have had on a mountain. The combination of those two together was just divine, it really was. The spice was perfect, it's probably like a 6 or 7 out of 10, like a, a medium sort of heat. And um, it just, the flavour in it was just fantastic. So yes, I'm very satisfied with that. So now I'm going to just get myself a cup of tea on. And I've also got for pudding a tiramisu energy bake here. This is by Science in Sports. I always carry like a load of energy sort of bars and things in my little um, uh, pack just for when I'm out and about. Just so I've always got that little bit of a pick me up just in case I need it. But this tiramisu one is going to go down well now. So let's get some water in here. And we'll make a cup of tea. You can see the wind keeps sort of coming in and then just dying off again. Right, we'll get some gas on. And light this up. And let's dive into this. Tiramisu energy bar, like a one of those soft bakes by Science in Sport. Good texture. Oh yeah, that is good. Mm. Mm. Right, I'm saving that for my tea. Spot on. The dog's head's pricked up just because I've dished his food for him and it just sat out there waiting. Are you ready then, Blue? Go on then. Well, there we are, both fed well and comfy. As far as comfy goes on the top of a mountain, but it's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. You've seen some of my other videos where I've literally just struggled all night and you've got to take the rough with the smooth. And you know, I feel like I deserve a really nice calm night like this one. So here I am thoroughly enjoying it. Yes, much needed. That's what it is, much needed. Yeah, anyway, what should we chat about? As I was saying earlier, it was tough for me to get out today, but I am so glad that I have. I mean, it would have been quite easy just to stay at home and do another day of just lounging about and not being productive at all. But look at me now, <laughs> I am here. The smile on my face and feeling just a hundred percent better by just getting out and just 
putting that little bit of effort in, it does make all the difference. I've never really suffered with any depression or anything like that at all. I've always sort of maintained a good mental health, I would say. Always been positive and I've always got out and exercised well and looked after my body and I think that's a really big key to everything as well. And any sort of flat times of my life, they've only been temporary really. And uh, I've fairly quickly overcome anything that I've needed to. But it's just that time of year, you know, this is where people struggle. There's always that build up to Christmas and New Year and everyone has the excitement of all that. And then once all that dissipates, a couple of days after, you just slip back into the sort of usual mundane life that often we endure. And I think that's what it's all about. It's about trying to change from being in that situation where you just living from day to day and not really enjoying it to getting out and having things to look forward to so even if it is just a holiday or a weekend away or something along those lines it's worth just getting those plans made and booking them in and just keeping yourself with some excitement in life and it will sunny I don't know, a couple of years ago where I really sort of thought, and this YouTube thing's added to that as well, but I just thought I'd just getting by and not fully reaching my potential of what I want to do in life. So I'm hoping that doing the YouTube thing is going to sort of help me achieve that a little bit more and um, just keep me in that sort of place of just maintaining that happiness and, you know, trying to get more out of life that's what it's all about getting more out of life so you know just try your best to make those plans and get out more and do things that make you happy cut out all the crap there's so much rubbish and so many bad people that just drain you that suck from you you know just avoid them get rid of those people out of your life you don't need them just uh, stick with the positivity and get the people in your life that you can swap things for. You know, you give them your attention, they give you yours, and you know, you you feel like you've got a symbiotic relationship going on, and that, that's what it's all about. A bit of positive symbiosis. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. Anyway. I'm going to continue drinking my tea, thinking those thoughts in my head, and I think I'm going to try plan my next adventure, and I'm pretty sure it's going to involve a flight, because I have not been abroad for so long, and I am desperate just to sort of get away and do some sort of proper adventuring. It's nice doing all the weekends and getting out and doing this sort of thing where you, you, know, you have a couple of nights away at a time. It always makes me feel good, but it just doesn't have the adventure that I am looking for. And that is just going to new places that I've never sort of been. And I don't know, stepping out of my comfort zone where, you know, maybe I don't know the language or I don't know my way around. And it's just a case of trying to just push myself that little bit more, just expand the human that I am. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> enough of this waffle. Maybe one of you out there might just benefit from some of my chit chat. And if so, then great. It is all about that. Just trying to sort of feed off people that actually can sort of give you something in life. Yep, there we go then. Anyway, cheers guys. I am gonna drink my tea and then lay this lug, I reckon. After just doing the usual night duties like brushing my teeth and all that. So, we will see you in the morning. Take care.
morning flowers look at this glorious morning in arctic conditions and you can just see the sun is striking these mountains behind me just giving that little bit of color it is just fantastic and i've set my alarms to get myself up for the sunrise because as you can see there is some color just starting to show in the sky there what a beautiful morning and it took some getting out of the tent because my boots were completely covered in snow uh, just because the wind all night has been picking some of this snow up and then just spinning it around and throwing it at my tent and yes yeah, some of that has just sort of come in underneath this sort of shroud at the side and obviously covered my boots <laughs> yes look at this though what a morning what a stunning morning what a morning the sun has finally sort of come up and we are sat here just against this rock taking it all in look at this though look at that sunshine just beautiful absolutely beautiful hey bluey aren't we lucky to be out here <laughs> Go on, then. oh what a day what a day and this is what it's all about just being able to get up when no one else is around and just take all this in and it's free it is all free and we're only here for a split second of time on earth so just make the most of it and just try get to see these things as often as possible
I've just been sat up against that rock there for the last hour or so just watching these clouds roll by and it has been just special it really has and the plan is for me today now is to uh, break camp and get myself to the top of Hart Crag which is this one here and then continue on for another night somewhere but first job is to make a cup of tea so I'm just gonna grab my pot and uh, we will fill it with some snow pack it as tight as we can there's some nice clean bloody hell it's deep so we'll just ram some of that in there There we go, ready to make a cup of tea. Just look how deep that is there. So we're gonna bang this on the stove and then I'm gonna eat my flapjack because I'm getting hungry now and I need some energy for the day. So let's pop that on there. Turn the gas on if I can't. I can't do this one-handed, let me put you down. It does take a while to melt but straight away you can see that the level of this is actually dropping and as snow melts it really does not make much water so sometimes you have to add a bit more to it Lazy mornings, eh, Blue? Yeah? <laughs> I've uh, got his food ready outside, so he's going to eat while I drink my cup of tea. So I'll just pop this down a second. You ready, Blue? Go on then. That's not a bad place to have a breakfast, is it, Bluey, eh? Look at that. There we go, all packed up. The sun has come out properly now and what a day it is. It is just pure happiness flowing over all of this land and I'm in it all. So from here, we are gonna head up to the top of Hart Crag and I'm gonna show you the views from there, which should be on this clear day, spectacular. So leave no trace as always and let's skedaddle up there. You ready, Blue? Right here then, let's go. Don't forget me poles. Ah dear. Let's be having you. Let's be having you. This is just spectacular. Honestly, I am just living my dream at this minute. And it's a fair trek up here. It's quite steep, this last section to the summit, but 
everything is worth it just for this view and it's only going to get better from the top oh aye this is it Just coming up to the summit now, Hart Crag. And you get to see over the other side of the valley, look at that. Looking out to sea over there and the light just bouncing off the sea and the lake down in the bottom what a place to be I've made it after quite a slog up there and not feeling 100% that was tough this is it though this is what it's all about getting out Especially on days like this, where the views are spectacular, the sun just increases that happiness and there's no one else around. <laughs> I love it, absolutely love it. there we go the end of another absolutely awesome adventure thanks to Fjell Raven for providing me with these trousers and this jacket which I'll put a link for in the description absolutely awesome bits of kit and very hard wearing and the ones that I've got already I've had years and I've absolutely battered them so yes definitely worth uh, having a look at but what a day just to be out in the mountains and it was much needed for me in this mutt Aren't it, eh? We needed to get out and just sort of break that, I don't know, the monotony of just sort of sitting indoors with no energy. And now we've got out, hopefully this will just sort of uh, inspire me to carry on and do a little bit more. Hey, we need it, don't we, dog? We really do. So yeah, get yourselves out as much as you can. Look after your dogs, give them the best life possible rather than just leaving them inside all the time just to sit about and do nothing it is not good for anyone including our lovely dogs so just try your best to be that kind owner hey bluey <laughs> yeah anyway if you have liked the video give it one of those big fat thumbs up and if you want to contribute towards the channel you can do so by buying me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link i'll also pin a uh, message at the top of the message board so you can find that link you can also join the patreon and that is just a great little community and hopefully we're going to get out and do a bit of a patreon camp at some point so that will be awesome and join me on instagram i'm generally posting the odd post of where i'm out and about which is just uh keeping you guys informed with that got some birds flying about here anyway that's it hey eh, dog we don't need to see out else do we so from me and the beautiful blue we'll see you another time you know <laughs> let's do it